Hi guys, Jimmy with Jimmy's Auto and Firearms, and today we're going to take a look at another one of my John Giles modified Colt 38 Supers. Now, John Giles was a gunsmith down in uh, Florida that had a gunsmithing shop that was known as Giles 45 Shop, Odessa, Florida. You'll see that stamped into the side there of this uh, Giles exclusive sight system. This is a one-piece sight that is attached to the top of the slide on this uh, 38 Super. Now, this particular model is a 1970 Colt 38 Super, and Mr. Giles uh, modified the majority of these that he gunsmithed on to shoot 38 wad cutters. Now, this was a very popular round in the 60s and 70s. You'll notice that the bullet doesn't extend past the casing on it. And it was very popular in the 60s and 70s with the target shooters of the time because it punches a very clean hole in a paper target. It made it a lot easier for them to score. So... That's why it was so popular, but Mr. Giles was known for his gunsmithing abilities, and this is just a super example of, this is called a wagon wheel sight, rear sight, and he made them both in a one-piece rear, with had a different little uh, front sight, but this is one of the ones that he did with a one-piece sight on the top. And I'm going to show you another unique feature. Uh, first off, I'll show you that this gun is completely unloaded and that there is nothing in the magazine. Uh, while I've got the magazine out, I will uh, speak briefly to the fact that to shoot these 38 wad cutters, the magazines had to be modified. So this is a modified magazine to accept the 38 wad cutter round. So... There's a look at that. Now, I'm going to show you another item on this gun that Mr. Giles did. And to do it, I've got to take a flashlight and light up the inside of the uh, chamber there with this slide slid back. You'll see, I don't have three hands, so I can't point it out exactly, but you'll see what looks like a little round button that's been added inside that slide. Now, they're called a barrel button or a barrel positioner. And they add that material in there, and it is used to take up any excess horizontal movement on the barrel. So it's called a barrel button or a barrel positioner. So gunsmithing, smithers, <laughs> gunsmiths back in that era occasionally would use that as part of their uh, process to really fine-tune a marksmanship pistol. So again, this is a uh, 1970 Colt Super 38. Uh, it's sporting its original grips on it, and it's been modified by Master Gunsmith John Giles out of Odessa, Florida. So there's a look at it. I thought you would really like to uh, see this firearm. It's one of the smoothest. Feels like it's on ball bearings almost so much that uh, this gun has been modified. So, again, last look, 1970 Colt 38 Super, modified to shoot 38 Special Wad Cutter, sometimes called a 38 Mid-Range, by Gunsmith John Giles down in Odessa, Florida. Hey, guys, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm always bringing you unusual or outside the box firearms that you may not get a chance to see on some other channels and uh, I hope you appreciate it and uh, give me a thumbs up give me a like if you got any questions or comments put them down in the comments below and I'll sure answer them and try to get back to you so until next time guys thanks again and we'll see y'all down the road